Hi right, guys, it's Josh Thackrow here with our first fan cam. I've got Harry with me, a regular. We've just beaten Sunderland 4-1. Harry, tell us about the game. What did you think? Well, apart from the early goal, which I was really worried after they scored, it was just going to be another one of those days. We came out there and we put on a performance eventually. But there is one thing we have to say. Like, I think sometimes we play a bit too slow. The, there's not enough movement off the ball. But it was a lot better in the second half, I think. I thought the first half was quite edgy, wasn't it? Because, yeah. you know, the script, you know, they went 1-0 ahead. And then everyone was seeing kind of what reaction we'd get from the team. You know, with the loss on Wednesday, you know, can we can we get that quick goal back? And we did. So I think, you know, that was great to see. But um, there were some sloppy mistakes in the first half. I mean, was there anyone in the first half that, that you could single out that you thought didn't quite put in a shift? Uh, I hate to say this, but I think Dele Alli looked a bit less sharp. Mm -hmm. in the recent games and I still think it's a bit too much to ask from a 19-year-old to perform like this like he's been doing every single week mm -hmm. and for a team fighting for a top four spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think also with um, the first half um, we were all over them at certain points the Lamella chance, the Ericsson chance and we had all the possession and it looked like we were going to get the goal they got their first attack and they went and scored mm -hmm. and Van Anholt <laughs> we had actually in my pre-match analysis I'd yeah. said Van ha Van Anholt's actually a danger from left back and he will bomb forward which oh. he did on Wednesday and he scored so you know that was the first half um, Dembele in for Carroll I think that made a big difference yeah well uh, today was really all about the Belgian boys Toby dealt with Defoe uh, thankfully I didn't have to worry about that um, you have Tonga and Bosta at the back, but Dembele in the midfield, he's just been sensational for us this season. Especially a lot of us, even myself, thought we wrote him off after last year. But he's just, just tra transformed. Yeah, absolutely. I think with Dembele in the team, um, we look much better, don't yeah. we? You know, and, and I thought for Carroll because he's on the bench and, you know, he, he did come on in the end. not that badly, Carroll, recently. But Dembele is just a different level. So yeah. <laughs> I think the tackles and the, the possession football, and he can beat a couple of men and he can really take it to the next, uh, next uh, level in terms of moving the ball forward. Um, second half. Tell me about the second half. <laughs> it was a lot better. We came out and on a performance, basically. It was full, I mean, we are playing Sunderland. I was more relieved that we won the game than, you know, exceptionally happy. But after Wednesday, it was a, it was a good bounce back. Yeah, I think it was great. And I think the, the key word in the second half was we were clinical, weren't we? Mm. And, uh, you know, we weren't sort of uh, overpassing. I think we were more penetrating in the final third. The decision-making so, was, decision was a lot quicker in the second half. Absolutely, right. Now tell me, Harry, where are we going to finish? Don't sit on the fence. Are we going to make that top four? Are we going to finish fifth or sixth like we usually do? How are we going to go this right. season? Don't sit on the fence. Fourth or not fourth? What do you think? Um, I think we might scrape a top four spot. But it, to be honest, we could do better. But that's if we actually go out and buy some players this January. Cause okay, great. Tell me, who do you want? Who do you want? Lastly, who do you want to buy this January? If you were Daniel Levy right now, yeah. who would you go and get right now? I like Romy on loan from Chelsea. You'd like Romy, would you? Yeah, All right, I'm thanks. Not, I'm not, I'm not too keen on Berahino. <laughs> okay, so it looks like everyone wants a striker. He's not keen on Berahino. He wants Remy. Yeah. We've got a couple of... Well, next game's Crystal Palace away, and then we've got Watford at home. Six points? I don't know. Palace is always a tough game. Uh, and we've got the cup as well on Wednesday. Hopefully rest some players then. But I, I wouldn't say it's tough. It's tough. I can't call Finally, it. Harry, just give me your man of the match. Who would you give the man of the match to today? Moussa Dembele. Moussa Dembele. Dembele. Not Ericsson? <laughs> Close. But Dembele. <laughs> okay, there we are. That's Harry. Harry's one of our regulars. Thanks, Harry, for your views today. Uh, please make sure you leave us comments below and subscribe to the channel on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter.